When it comes to sandwiches, we like them hefty, gigantic even. It's like a big stack of meat between two slices of bread. But nowhere can you find a sandwich that out towers all the rest than at our final stop. Next, Sandwich Paradise takes us to Birch Run, Michigan. This tiny freeway stop that's home to just 1,600 people is known for three very big things. The world's largest Christmas store up the road in neighboring Frankenmuth, one of the largest outlet malls in the country, and just across the street, a family restaurant with a BLT that's big in the bacon. Real big. It is awesome. <laughs> Do you need anything else? I don't think so. <laughs> Welcome to Tony's I-75, a cozy family restaurant that's home to the world's biggest BLT. Where can you get a sandwich like that? Except for here. Owners Steve and Denise Fritzler are the ultimate authority when it comes to satisfying the biggest appetites. 37 years ago, my father decided to come out to Birch Run here and open a little restaurant. And the truck drivers actually are what really gave us our start. And then it just kind of grew from there. Starting with just a small truck stop in the middle of nowhere, Denise's father built an area legend. We went from seating 60 people to like 300 people in the restaurant. We had steak sandwiches is what the restaurant was originally famous for in the old days. Then Denise's father came up with an idea to build the biggest BLT in the country. We drove an hour and a half for this bacon lettuce and tomato sandwich. Over a pound of bacon. You put it down in front of them and they're like, you know, what the heck? We try to feed everybody just like if you were on Christmas or Thanksgiving and you went and sat on the couch and watched a football game and went, oh, I ate too much. I'd rather have you miserable. We get a lot of people that, if they're coming from out of state, they know where they're coming. I mean, this is already on their map. The BLT is a descendant of the Victorian era tea sandwiches, but even the queen never ate anything as indulgent as a supersized BLT with over 20 strips of bacon. This is the same problem I had last time, though, and I didn't know exactly how to attack the sandwich. <laughs> Oh, man. I tell the women to treat it like a man, you know, rough it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. This is the best bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich I've ever had. And I uh, normally order bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich wherever I go. Every time I get the BLT, I love it. Tony's goes through an incredible 10,000 pounds of bacon every week. But the BLT isn't the only monster on the menu. The club sandwich is colossal, and the Reuben is downright Reuben-esque. When we cook, we cook. And we cook so that when you have something to eat, you're full and you're not walking away from the restaurant hungry. And we want you happy and satisfied. And the portions are huge for everything. Like, here comes some chili cheese fries. <laughs> and that's an order of chili cheese fries. The whole family can do that. Not only a whole family, but maybe even a rock star, an NHL hockey team, and a president. I mean, the Kid Rock's been in here. Um, a lot of um, Red Wings have been in here. We had President Clinton before he was president yeah. come in here, and, and then he become president. These days, Tony's packs in customers like they do bacon in their BLTs. But they still manage to make everything in-house, from the giant pots of chili to the homemade jam. Menus pretty much is a huge menu. Sometimes it's busy from 9 in the morning to 11 at night, so we try to push through maybe 3,000 a day. But sometimes a BLT the size of your head just isn't enough. So if your stomach is still grumbling, you can always top it off with Tony's towering banana split. Half a gallon of ice cream on it, throw a bunch of toppings on it, and watch people's eyes light up when you sit it down in front of them. There you go. That's what it's all about, just making everybody happy. I see the guy come in and have a uh, bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich, and then eat a banana split. You don't leave hungry. No way. Luckily, our cholesterol levels are very low. After this, they probably won't be. <laughs> it's awesome to go to Florida and have your Tony's T-shirt on and somebody You're pumping say, gas somewhere in another state, and then somebody recognize you. When people say things to you, you go, well, yes, that's... That's us, you know. That's my restaurant. If I ever heard of one person leaving here hungry, I'd tell them to sit back down, and I'll give you some more. Can I have a box, please? 
sandwiches. When it comes down to it, quality often has a lot to do with quantity. Nobody's <laughs> mouth is that big. We devour portly pastrami's. Well, I love pastrami. Some super-sized subs. That's fabulous. And even a hero piled high with fries and coleslaw. Mm. But most of all, we like eating this portable lunch any time of day. It's the real, true American comfort food. It's yummy. College eating has taught me well. <laughs> People always want to know, is this the real deal? And we say, yes, it is. You know, they got to come in and have one of these sandwiches so they can sober up and go home. We always had peanut butter and jelly in the house. Ah, we finally got the real stuff.